Something has really gone wrong with our economic system. The sector is continuing to be the biggest single drag on the Wall Street today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average now month to month drop in existing home sales since they started keeping track in the late 90s. And this problem is still not measurable. We don't know where the bottom is. It is our estimate that 4% of the American people own 85% of the wealth of America and that over 70% of the people of America don't own enough to pay the debts that they owe. Following the Great Depression of 1929, Louisiana Governor and U.S. Senator Huey Long founded the Share Our Wealth Movement of the 1930s in the hope of winning U.S. presidency. How many men ever went to a barbecue? and would let one man take off the table what's intended for nine-tenths of the people to eat. The only way you'll ever be able to feed the balance of the people is to make that man come back and bring back some of that grub he ain't got no business with. Long promised an annual income to every family that was equivalent to $80,000 in today's economy. His campaign included limiting private fortunes to $50 million, inheritances to $5 million, and annual incomes to $1 million. Long even composed a song to promote his slogan, Every Man a King. Every man a king, every man a king, for you can be a millionaire. While Long won the hearts of many poor Americans, his campaign ultimately gained momentum and inspired programs such as Social Security, Medicare, and food stamps. In the business world, Long created many foes. On September 8, 1935, days after launching his bid for presidency, Long was assassinated. If Long had become president, what would the economy have looked like today? What are the responsibilities of the rich? Should taxpayers be liable to pay for those who can't make ends meet? What kind of welfare system do you think will encourage independence and self-dignity? Who is supposed to care for the poor and the working class according to Judaism? The Bohr Jewish Learning Institute presents Wisdom of the Ages on Today's Economic Crises. What's the Jewish view on capitalism and social responsibility? Should trading on privileged information be considered a crime? Is it ethical to declare bankruptcy and discharge your debt? Money Matters a new six-week course on Jewish business ethics, running this January in over 350 locations worldwide.